Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have we are learning about this groups concept. So a regular expression groups concept we are learning. Capture groups, non-capture groups. We have also seen about this positive look ahead. Now in this video we will try to see about the negative look ahead and also the look behind concept also. So there is there is also one more concept left left in this group concept that is nothing but left behind. I will try to show you the simple examples what it will try to do so we have already seen about this one in the password string so here we are having some capital letters and some small letter so like this we are having and if you want to try so we can use the positive look ahead something like this and it should be start and end you can add it okay you can add it like this and here you need to have something like so first one is it should be it should be of so we can have a positive look ahead so dot and it should be of eight characters minimum okay and another one what i can do so positive look ahead i can use and it should be anywhere a to z like this it should have and in the same scenario you can have small a to z also so if you want you can keep it mm, i can use dot or anything and last one is the so cost to look ahead and i can use dot star 0 to 9 so this is the thing for password strength quality checking now for example if i try to remove the 4 it will not match so for example let's try let's say that we can also have a ha, add a negative look ahead also for example let's say that i don't want numbers to be included in this password so instead of using this question mark is equal to so what i can do is i can use question mark exclamatory now this one is is a negative look ahead so now it should contain this one and this one and this one but not this one okay so now if i remove four it will match if i remove d something like this it will not match why because eight characters not it need not reach this eight characters now it has reached this eight characters so if you have any number so it will not match it okay so this is how you will be able to see this one okay so now this is a negative look ahead that means if you use question mark exclamatory this is a negative look ahead if you use question mark is equal to so this is a positive look ahead now there is also a another another concept important concept that is nothing but look behind i want to tell you look behind so most of the browsers doesn't support this one but i will try to explain you that look behind also so these are all somewhat advanced concepts look ahead look behind in the groups things but i will try to explain you so look behind concept is nothing but what i can say is let's say here i am having a dollar 199 okay so i am having a dollar 199 so now here what i want to do i want to match only 199 that also that number so for example if you are having another 199 so this is the price value i want to match only this price value i don't want this one this number to be followed so what i can do here i can add a combination in such a way that it should match a digit plus okay so one or more digit i'm able to get it but I, it is getting matched this one also but i want only the match which is having a dollar in print okay not afterwards in print so now what i can do here i can have a like this okay so i can do something like dollar so dollar should be added so now in front whoever is having the dollar it should have but here the dollar should not be selected in the result so but the match should be found with the dollar but it should not be a part of the result so what i can do here i can use a look ahead thing so now here i can use look ahead thing so now it is not checking why because so it is thinking that so always the look ahead what it will try to do is it will first try to match the mainstream result followed by the look ahead so but here the first one is itself is a is not matching with this one so because of this runs for example let's say that if i try to add it at the, at, at the end will it match so it will not match why because afterwards it is not having for example if i try to use dollar here let's try to see it now it is matching see so that means mainstream has been executed followed by this one it is trying to see okay if i try to use the same thing okay here it will not match <clears throat> so that means look ahead always checks after this one <clears throat> after the mainstream has been executed 
but now what i want to do is first the look ahead thing is should be executed before the main string so then what i can do is i need to use look behind so i can use less than or equal to so when i use this less than or equal to now if you try to see that 199 has been matched with only dollar so this for this one for this price only so here what i am trying to do look behind so here you will be able to see look behind is not supported in the javascript but i am trying to explain you the look behind concept also now you will be able to see question mark less than or equal to for this one for example you can also have a negative look behind so if you use exclamatory now this one 199 has been matched why because so digit one or more you are having so here two is having behind this one you are having one not a dollar so because of that reason it is matching and here 199 is also matching so this is about the look behind appro approach okay so we can also use the capture groups look ahead and also the negative look ahead and also look behind and also the negative look behind also so like this we can do it so most of the browsers will not support this look behind thing but in order to have a knowledge so it is uh, so i am explaining you this concept so these are all about this what i can say is the groups concept so we have learned about the capture these are all very important in the regular expressions so now if you try to see here the cheat sheet so if you go to the regex pal or anywhere in the cheat sheet if you try to see it here so now we have learned almost all the characters we have learned it here okay so unicode escape characters so this one we try to learn it in the next sessions but we have learned about the dot slash w these are word character digit space so this is the negative so abc character set and here is an anchor expression okay sorry meta character starting and also this one is a range and here these are the anchor expression okay when you use this one so it is a not okay so it is a not here when you are using outside it should start so slash b is a word boundary we have seen about the slash b and the capital b word and not word boundary and here these are all escape with special characters and stab uh, new line and carriage return so you'll learn about this unicode thing and here also we are having a captured group and also a back reference to that group so whenever, whenever you want to refer, refer that group so you need to understand that slash one means it will not re, uh, refer this pattern it will match the it, it will try to um, refer the text that has been matched by this pattern so that is the main thing you need to understand and here this is a non-capturing group look ahead group positive look ahead and also negative look ahead these are all the things we have learned it so these are also the quantifiers we have learned star plus and question mark and these are the specific amount times repetition and this is the between one and three and this is a nothing but lazy greediness and laziness we have seen and also this is a specifying options so these are all the different ways of uh, these are all we have discussed in this regular expression so take time to learn one by one so that if you try to learn one by one then you will find regular expressions very easy so normally we we'll used to search in the google and we will try, try to used to try to apply that regular expression without knowing that one we'll try to apply so now at least you will have if you try to learn this one these things at least you will have some basic idea whenever you forget something the cheat sheet cheat sheet is already there for you to help us so now i will also will get forget all the time but when i try to see this cheat sheet then i can get some idea okay okay this one is used for so and so purpose and this is used for another purpose like this we i will let instead of feeling alien to these all the new things at least we have a touch in this subject in, in these concepts that okay at least i know these all look ahead groups and all those things what are exactly what it mean and all those things so you'll have a basic idea so take time to see these all videos so that you'll have so that you will have a better understanding so these are all very important so don't think that these are all not mandatory like this so when you are in a programming field and all those things so you need to learn everything so that is the main thing hope you understood about this regular expression thing look ahead and look behind negative look ahead and negative look behind if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you